begotten Son, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ came. He didn't come into this world to condemn the world, but he came into this world so that the world might be saved. Jesus warned about the things that would come about in the last days. How people would be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. He said that there would be a falling away and apostasy. That people would turn away from the truth and follow false prophets. And follow false gods. And we see that in abundance today. He even described the kingdom of heaven as like a tree that grew out of a mustard seed. He said and the birds of the air will make their nests in it. And what he means by that. If you look through scriptures, every time he mentions the birds of the air, they're the ones who snatch away the seed. And the seed is the word of God. And there are always those elements and those people who like to snatch away the seed. And they say, well, did God really mean this? Did God really mean that? And inside Christendom, there are false churches. And they'll make their nests in that same tree. Jesus said, many will come in my name, saying that I am Christ. But they will still deceive many. And you see it in so many of the so-called Christian cults. People who believe that they have found the truth, the new truth. People who follow false prophets like Charles Russell and Joseph Smith. And other false prophets of other so-called religions. But they're not religions, they're just an ideology. From dark ages, Arabia and places like that. Jesus said many false prophets will come. And many will believe in these false prophets. And I've had people who follow these false prophets come up to me on the street. And say Christianity is dying, but our religion is getting stronger and stronger. It shows our God is greater than the Christian God. I said, no, it doesn't show that at all. It shows that my Bible is truth. Because my Bible says that in the last days there will be a falling away. The Christianity will diminish. And people will follow false gods and false prophets in their abundance. And what do you see around you today? When they portray Christianity on the, on the media, they always portray the Pope. The Pope has nothing to do with Christianity, my friends. He's nothing to do with what I believe. I believe in the God of the Bible. There is only one Holy Father, and that's mentioned in John chapter 17, where Jesus prayed to his Father in heaven. And Jesus said, call no man Father. You have one Father, your Father in heaven. And every priest calls himself Father. And the Pope calls himself Holy Father. It's blasphemy. And Jesus Christ came and he died once for our sins. But they crucify him again and again and again every time they hold Mass. And they've turned away from the truth and turned it into fables. And now people are following the traditions of this so-called church instead of following what the Word of God says. And they even, they don't approve of their people reading the Bible.